What's going on peeps, the strong boys 19 here. So for this video I thought I would be um, interested in talking about some of the albums from each genre that I would recommend uh, for anyone who wants to get into this genre or that genre, you know the drill. So I thought it would be a nice idea because uh, there's still lots of people in this world who would want to get into uh, different types of music. So uh, this is going to be like a, uh, another segment. I don't know how many videos for uh, this segment I'm going to do, but we'll see what happens. So the first genre that I want to uh, do first is folk rock. Folk rock is one of my absolute favorite genres of music. Um, one of the first genres I ever wanted to uh, to you know learn on the guitar, and uh, you know I've discovered lots of folk musicians. But these are the folk albums that I recommend. If you want to leave your recommendations down in the comments for other people to see, please do so. It'll be very helpful. First album, Simon and Garfunkel, Bridge Over Troubled Water. Now this album is definitely Simon and Garfunkel's very, very best in my opinion. I mean, I love a lot of their material and the, the vocals from both Simon and Garfunkel are just one of the greatest uh, vocals ever heard on, um, on vinyl period. And of course the songwriting and ideas from Paul Simon himself. Um, there's a lot of great hits after another, you know, one great hit after another after another on this album, you know, Bridge Over Troubled Water, Cecilia, um, So Long, Frank Lloyd Wright, Keep the Customer Satisfied, of course The Boxer, and The Only Living Boy in New York, you know, I highly recommend this album. I mean, a lot of Simon and Garfunkel's material are so folk related, uh, but uh, I consider this to be their best album. Speaking of Paul Simon, here's Paul Simon's self-titled album. Uh, this is his second album in his solo career. And uh, this is just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Uh, there are some uh, elements from these tracks that are quite uh, percussive in places. Uh, but uh, the, the mood is still there. The vocals and the sound is just absolutely gorgeous. You know, tracks like Duncan, uh, Run That Body Down, Me and Julio Down by the Schoolyard, Peace Like a River, Congratulations, Mother and Child Reunion. You know, this album is just perfection. Uh, that's one of his very, very best solo albums. Now, this is an album I don't have on vinyl yet, but I do have it on CD. Uh, the Freewheeling Bob Dylan. Of course, many people would uh, pick other releases like uh, Blood on the Tracks and also The Times They Are Changing. But for me, this is a must-have for folk rock. Uh, it's one of these. Um, it's one of these albums that um, many people would praise uh, as a folk classic. You know, it's so politically charged. It's brutal. You know, Dylan as a songwriter, he's just a mastermind. You know, you've got songs like Blowing in the Wind, Girl from the North Country, Masters of War, A Hard Rain's Gonna Fall, Don't Think Twice It's Alright, uh, Oxford Town, you know, no words needed to describe this album, so I think this is a big, big recommendation. Now the last two, for me, are the darkest folk records I've ever listened to and uh, I also want to apologize for the really annoying uh, focusing on the camera it's pissing me off and I am so sorry that it's been doing that anyway Leonard Cohen's songs of love and hate this is so so dark and you could really uh, feel the uh, the sound and the the whole heavy vibe from Cohen's voice to the really heavy poetry, you know tr tracks like Avalanche 
and also dress rehearsal rag, um, diamonds in the mine, famous blue raincoat, and uh, Joan of Arc. And uh, this this has been uh, you know known to some Cohen fans the bleakest record of his career when this came out, um, but this is one of his very very top best works in my opinion. So, Songs of Love and Hate by Leonard Cohen. So, damn incredible. And the last one, for me, my favourite folk record of all time. Uh, this is a box set, and it's Pink Moon by Nick Drake. His last album, his previous two albums, Five Leaves Left and Brighter Later, are uh, folk-oriented albums. But this one really takes the cake for me as his best album. The um, the sadness of the uh, uh, the mood and the lyrics that are just you know out there. Even if it's just you know one or two pieces of lyrics, um, Nick Drake nailed it off, and the sound of his voice is just so incredible. That's it for this video. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.